Hello, everybody. Welcome to Bible class. We are, well, this is Wednesday night, and instead of services, because there's a big storm that's said to be coming through, the, we're going we're gonna to do this class, and I'm just going to continue with the, the Sermon on the Mount. So last Sunday, we looked at, well, not, not this, this past Sunday, but the one before that, we looked at Matthew 7, 12, and tonight we'll look at Matthew 7, 13, and 14. So let's read that. It says, enter, in at the, enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. All right, so enter in at the, uh, there's two gates and two ways to travel. There's the straight gate and there's the wide gate and then there's the narrow way and the Broadway. We need to choose one of the two. Uh, looking at the, I, I looked at the words, straight gate. Uh, straight doesn't mean, you know, when we talk about the straight and narrow, we're, we're talking about this right here, straight gate, narrow, but Notice it's not S-T-R-A-I-G-H-T, -T, which is, you know, straight versus crooked. But straight here is actually a synonym with narrow. I looked it up. It actually only occurs three times in the New Testament. And it's in this context. So Matthew 7, 13, 14, and then Luke's, Luke's account of this, where Jesus says, enter in at the straight gate. So it's kind of hard to look and see at different contexts. In the Old Testament, you see the word in the Septuagint, which is the Greek translation of the Old Testament, and they used it, they used the word to talk about narrow spaces a lot. So if you're in a narrow place, then they'll use this word. It, it occurred a lot in, oh, where was it? It was in 1 Samuel where Saul was chasing David and David kept dwelling in, the, in, in these wildernesses. Well, he would go into places where there were narrow pathways and caves and he was going and they were good hiding places. So, and the word is also used in the in the old testament to refer to difficulty i mean great difficulty i mean distress or trouble or, or something like that so i think the the difference here that we have in in matthew 7 we have straight versus wide so narrow difficult to find it is a passageway that requires you to look. It requires intent then to find versus broad. And the word broad there, well, it just means wide country. So a broad way is, is just some, it's just an expanse, right? Some, it, it not necessarily uh, something that you're going to have to look for but you go and you see and there's the, like a big field easy to see easy to find easy to you're going to be able to hold a lot of people in this or on this broad way so there's the difference let's look at the broad way first wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and many there be which go in thereat. So because of the ease, because of the ease of it, 
because of the ease of finding this way, it's not going to be difficult. It's not going to be something that <laughs> it's easy, therefore it's not difficult, right? Oh, brilliant. No, because of the ease of, uh, of finding that this, what that means is people are going to, they're, they're going to wind up there almost naturally, right? And it makes sense because, well, scripture says that all have sinned. And what that means is, and, and I, I need to be careful the way I say this because I don't want to imply that we have original sin. But if everybody sins, then, well, that means the entire the entire world will find its way to this broad way. Everybody's going to, going to find its way to this broad way because, well, that's just, the Bible says we all sin. So it's not our default, but it is the way that we're all going to find our way onto the broad way that leads to destruction. The wages of Romans 6, 23 says the wages of sin is death. So the way of sin leads to destruction. And since everybody commits sin, everybody is going to find their way onto this broad path, going through this wide gate. Contrast that with the, the way that leads to life. Straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leads to life, and few there be that find it. And think about, think about the world and the billions of people on this planet. Now think of all the people that have, all the people of those billions that are obeying Christ, that are following him, that have done something about their sin. And, and the, the percentage is very small. There are a lot of people who identify, who, who claim Christ, but if we jump forward a couple of verses, not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So there's going to be a, there, there are a large number of people on this planet who say, Lord, Lord, to Christ, but not everyone that says that is going to get a free pass. In fact, Jesus is saying there's a straight gate, and it's a narrow way which leads to life. In order to make it through this straight gate, you have to look for it. It's going to take dedication. It's going to take difficulty because it's not just something that, oh, you go outside and there you are, you're in the field. Well, no, find the right way. And it's going to take difficulty to find that. Jesus says, enter in at that straight gate. So he wants us to put forth the effort. He wants us to, he wants us to make that, he, he wants us to make that, that, you know, we're going to, to make the, the journey to find that. And, and as Christians, you know, as, as people who want to do what, what God has commanded us to do, we know that it's an ongoing effort. We enter in at the narrow gate, and, and let's, let's, let me just look this word. Straight, King James says straight is the gate, stenos. From the base there, narrow. Probably from obstacles standing close about. So you have this way, and it's something that you have to navigate because there are obstacles all around. It's a narrow way. Obstacles around that, that's not just narrow, but it implies difficulty too. Thayer has narrow 
or you know that, that old word straight. And if you look at other versions, let's go to the ASV says narrow. And the ESV says narrow. And the way is hard. Look at that. The way is difficult that leads to life. And those who find it are few. So it it, it even translated that instead of it even translated that as difficult or hard because of the obstacles that that we find all right so what's jesus lesson you need to strive to do what's right enter in at this enter in even even if it is the difficult place and and he's going to he'll continue talking about the difficulties that we we're going to have but there is a reward and that is life. You have to fight for your life. You have to fight for your spiritual life. And if you endure the difficulty, good things are going to happen. All right, kind of a short video today. I, I usually go about 20 minutes, and this is, this is a little more than half that. But I wish you all the best, and I hope you have a blessed day.